if you're in the mood for Italian, mm -hmm. but you don't want pasta, say you don't want a real heavy carbish, right. dishish, thingish. Yes. Here's what I would do. Now, first of all, here's some of our pork and our burger. So what we're going to do is take a pound of each, mm -hmm. pound of our pork, pound of our beef. We're going to take that and we're going to make a nice little cabbage wrap. We're going to season mm -hmm. these up real nicely. We'll show you how to do that in a minute. But first of all, you got to core the cabbage and get it ready. That's right, because we want to get this boiling so we can have nice pieces right. to wrap. Now, if I had a name for this dish, I would probably call it sweet basil tomato sauce with cabbage rolls. Cabbage rolls, Italian cabbage rolls with sweet basil tomato sauce. It's a big name, but there I like it. Is. it. I like it. That's exactly what I'd call it. Now, Nikki, when I met her, was making something called glumkies. Now, cabbage rolls are, are made by different people and they do different things. Now, that's a great dish that they make a lot up in Michigan. Right. For parties and oh, things yeah. like that. Oh, yeah. But you added a twist. I like your twist. You make those a lot of times with venison and put rice on it. I do. Love yeah, very good. Day. This is a little bit different from that. All right, and we're just going to let this boil, and I'm going to pull these as you're cooking. I'm going to pull these leaves off as they get hot and just kind of keep spinning this. All right, now, first of all, let's flavor our meat. And this really is a sweet sauce mm -hmm. with the sweet basil, sweet yellow onion. It is just absolutely wonderful. I like right. to put fennel in it. To me, fennel brings a nice sweetness. And the basil itself, mm -hmm. some sweet basil. It has a wonderful taste. We're going to take our two pounds, ground pork and beef, and I'm going to add, and you know what, Ms. Farmer, I've never measured this. That makes it, that's never, why it's so good. That's why it's this. so good. If you will take me about a half of that onion, we're going to take that and we're going to put that in with that. We're right. going to chop those up real Get fine. Get my chopper. We want to chop those up real fine because I don't want, want it to overwhelm us. Now, now remember, this is going to be cooking over several hours. Now, we're going to put it on high because we're going to be around here and can check on it. Right. It's going to take about six, seven hours the way we're cooking it. So I'm going to put... First of all, some Italian breadcrumbs. Let's go three tablespoons, and I bet you we'll need more than that. How much basil do we want? How much? A bunch. A bunch? Okay. A whole lot. Now, you know what? Here's This is going to sound like a bunch, but this flavor, this sweet flavor, is going to be all through this. Here's, yes, a tablespoon. You know what, Ms. Farmer? I'm a little bit more. A little bit more. Then on top of that, what I'm going to put? Basil. Yes. Basil pesto. You've seen us make basil pesto before. What's in basil pesto, Ms. Farmer? It's fresh basil, the way we make it, fresh oregano, mm -hmm. it's garlic, and it's olive oil. And you just mix that all up and you chop so it. So good. And then you're good to go. This is gonna have some nice garlic taste as well. So we don't have to put that much garlic. Let's see, there's some, one tablespoon, Mrs. Farmer. Ready? At least. And I'm yeah, peeling these off as you go, is that all right? As I go, perfect. All right. Now again, the pesto itself has oregano, more sweet basil garlic and olive oil. Now, I love fennel seed. This is up to you, but I love the taste of fennel seed. Then I'm going to come back with just a little bit of salt. I don't want to overdo it. I'm going to put a couple dashes, and I always use kosher salt. I just like kosher salt. And then I'm going to come back with some pepper. Good day. That, looks, that smells like good already. It. Doesn't it? All your spices, yeah. Mrs. Farmer, when you get a minute, let me just stir that up for you. I'll have you stir that up. All right, you got everything in there? Put an egg in there. I got an egg. And that egg will bind everything together and make it beautiful, wonderful. These will cook, these little cabbages will cook this little package of meat into perfection. And then you just dole your sauce on top of that. Yum. And then you take some cheese and put it on top of that. And, and then you we got, got dinner. Good. All, All right. right. I'm gonna steal this over here and mix it up for you. Okay, in a minute, I'm gonna start the Italian sweet basil tomato sauce. You like sound that? I do. Do you see my mountain of cabbage over here? And you know what? If you can find a CSA in your neighborhood, community supported agriculture. This is organic. We know where it came from. We know who grew it. It's a wonderful thing. If you can find one in your area, we use that a lot. It's like a little Christmas present every week. I think I got enough. Think you got enough? I think Good I got enough. Go. Yep. Now we're going to start our sauce. So we're going to cook this on all day. So we're going to start, Mrs. Farmer, with a little olive oil. Okay. And if you'll chop me up a shallot, and I'm going to need three or four cloves of garlic. I got a shallot and half of this. A little bit of onion. We just got cabbage. Oodles of cabbage. Right. We, we already had a head, yes. and then we got some more. So we knew we had to do something with cabbage. We have our pork. We have our beef. Mm -hmm. So we thought today, actually, it was your idea. I said, why don't you make me some Italian? Yeah. And I said, well, we'll do this. So I've never measured that before, so I hope you got the idea of what we put in the meat. All right. All right. 
Want that Our in? Oil is at temperature. Yes, we're good to go. If you over brown your garlic, if you over heat it, over saute it, it's going to have a strong taste. I don't want that. All right, now I'm going to push this over to the side. Ms. Farmer, if you'll press me some garlic right in this little empty I'll spot. Do it. Beautiful, wonderful. Good. Yep. That'll do it. Now, this is going to be cooking for a while, so I'm not going to, I'm not going to overdo it here. In fact, I'm going to turn that down. So next, more basil, basil. pesto. Yummy. I would say that's a probably heaping teaspoon. Now, this is going to pop and crack. I'm going to pour just a little bit of red wine in here. Let that reduce down just a little bit. That smells... That smells heavenly. Beautiful, mm -hmm. wonderful. We're going to come back with our tomatoes. That we can. One quart. Yes. And here's one can of tomato sauce. And then if you'll dip that out. It's a whole can of paste. Can of paste. Mm -hmm. Now, that in itself is kind of beautiful. Yes, it is. It smells I'm delicious. I'm going to turn that up a little bit. Let that get going. I'm not going to cook this too much. I'm just going to let it get it coined. Then I'm going to come back with some more dried basil. Mm -hmm. When I, I said it was sweet basil, yeah, I wasn't kidding I love around. Basil. So I'm going to come back with some sweet basil. That's probably about a tablespoon and a half. Okay, then we're going to come back with some fennel seed. I love it. Mm -hmm. I love it. That's probably a teaspoon. That's your new favorite ingredient. Oh, and any kind of tomato is, sauce. Yeah. I love that fennel flavor. It won't be as hard once they've cooked for about six, seven hours. Yeah. If you want to cut the acid just a little bit and give it a sweeter taste, if you put sugar in this, makes it beautiful. I think you should. It makes it we can have some sugar. I like sweet. Some like people sugar. may not. I like just a little bit of sugar to cut that ass. I'm just going to put a tiny bit. So we're getting to the point. We're getting ready to build some, yeah. build some cabbage rolls. Now we cook one pot for you guys because it's, you know, it's an all day thing. Right. So if y'all want to get over here, what, next half hour? That's right. We got food. You need to hurry because <laughs> they're still hot. We got to cook one now for us tomorrow. Now the sauce is ready. It's beautiful. It's mm -hmm. wonderful. There's no reason to cook it anymore because it's going to be cooking all day long. We're going to clean some of this mess up have some more crackers and dip. When we come back, we'll have the crock pot ready to show you how to build this thing. What do you call this? I already forgot, it's too big of a name. It's Italian. What? Sweet Italian sweet basil tomato sauce with cabbage rolls. How about Italian cabbage rolls? There you go, okay. I like that. Much better, Mrs. Farmer. All right. All right. I'm going to go ahead and start. I'll be your sauce man. All right, be a little sauce. And you tell me when. And see how when I cook these just enough to pull. See how they're still? They're not going to mm -hmm. break. They're not fully cooked. Just enough so I can roll stuff. Is that enough in the bottom? Yes, perfect. And I'm just going to take little balls. And I think I have about, I don't know how many of those I have. Put one in there. And we're going to make little packages here. Cabbage rolls. Cabbage roll packages. This is a beautiful recipe. Yes, it is. You can she always them. does this part. You can make them as big and little as you want. Oh, they're so good. You're amazing with your little cabbage packages. My little packages. cabbage so now, if you look at these little balls of meat, they're all seasoned. They're all like their own little meatball already. They're going to have some great flavor. They're going to have an Italian flavor with all the stuff we put in them. And they cook with the cabbage and the juice. And the, and the, oh, yeah. and the sweet basil Italian sauce. Oh, beautiful. So good. All right, I kind of filled the bottom. we got seven here. If you want to put a little sauce on there. Sauce? Yeah, we'll do it a layer here. I'm a saucier. You just sauce it up. We're going to build some more until we have the end. They win. A little, smells, a little bit more. That smells heavy. Now, the kitchen smells like this all day because oh, you yeah. know we're cooking a batch behind us right now. A little bit more? A little bit, and that'll be good. And then we're going to do another row here. Yes, that's perfect. Yep. Another row. Oh, I can't wait. And we like to cook these at least six to eight hours, probably, on high. Or you can go all day on low if you wanted yeah. to get them going when you get, go to work. Let them go all day. Now, we were around the house today, so we could come in and check them yeah. if we needed to. It looks like I got just two more. And it depends on your size of cabbage. We're going to have a little extra meat, so maybe we'll make some more tomorrow. How's that? Yeah, absolutely. That's ready for more. Just load it up. Load it up. So this is ready to go. We're going to put that in the so crock pot? So we put that in there? I'm going to put that on high, and we're going to watch it. And you could put it on low all day for 12 hours. We're going to put it on high for six to eight hours. Now, when we pull these out, we'll set them on a plate, put a little mm. mozzarella cheese on them. A little, ooh, delicious, mm, delicious. Mm. All right. The kitchen's a mess. Yes, it is. But... It smells good. It does. It smells real good. Look here. Watch this. 
Oh, yeah. <laughs> That's been going eight, a little over eight hours, hasn't it? Eight hours. Now, here's what we're going to do. We're going to dig in here and get us one. I'm going to get me one, and I'm going to get you one. All right. And they fall apart. They're delicious. Now, that's a neat little package right there. I'm going to go ahead and put it. I know we're going to eat this all. You know, you can eat on this for days. It gets better as oh, it sits, yeah. too. You can just heat them back up. Now oh, what wow. I'm going to do is I'm going to get me some. Right there. Look at that, Ms. Barlow. That looks delicious. Oh, I tell you what. <laughs> it's funny. I can take a bite three times the size you normally do. Because I'm a big old boy. Mm -hmm. How is it? Mm -hmm. Is it really, really hot? It's hot, but it's delicious. <laughs> That's really good. Mm -hmm. You outdid yourself. Very good. You know, it's funny how you can take a recipe and kind of turn it mm -hmm. into something else. I'm going to give you credit for the idea with the glumkies, but we turned it into a more of an Italian dish. Mm -hmm. I'm going to eat the fire out of that in a minute, we're going to have to check your peanut brittle here in just a second. We'll bring it back and let's eat this first. Oh, it's good. 